What's up guys, Low Life Video Games back at it again with another episode of One Night Stand Simulator. Last time we tried to be the nice guy to see where it would take us, you know, and she ended up breaking our heart. So, let's see where the game takes us today. I'm pretty stoked, I'm pretty H. Yo, like low-key, I've been watching a ton of, this is totally off topic, I've been watching a ton of like Jerry Springer and... Hold on, we'll just click through this. We already know about the, uh, my head, my stomach. Uh, I gotta take a poop. Um, been watching a lot of Jerry Springer, man. And, yo, that shit is hilarious. Like, some of the old stuff. That and Maury show. Like, every time they say, you are not the father. And the dude gets super hyped. And the, the, the woman just runs into the back and dives on the couch. And starts doing that fake crying bullshit. Dude, I laugh my ass off. That shit is way too funny. So, I'll sit and I'll watch that. While I'm working out and shit, like, you know, if I'm doing push-ups or something, or something where I can have my attention on, you know, my phone screen or the computer screen or something, you know, I'll be watching that shit because it is too funny. And people would be looking at me like, why is this dude laughing so hard? And I'm just like, yo, you gotta watch Jerry Springer right now. This stuff's too funny. All right, guys, let's get into the game. Where is my phone? That's the main question. We already know where the phone is. It's boom, right there. We got it. Shut up, phone. It's vibrating. And Gary wants to know what the hell happened last night. What does he want? Oh, that's right. We were out with Gary. And he obviously isn't too happy. How do I respond? Should I? Hell yeah. I got a way I want to take this. I woke up with a banging hangover. I grabbed my phone. It's about to die. I better plug it in before the battery runs out. Hell yeah, we better plug it in because we need to call an Uber. Last time she kicked us to the bus stop. Oh, uh, yeah, we can't find the phone charger. That means our phone's inevitably, is that a word, inevitably? Our phone's going to die. Because this isn't our bedside table. This isn't even my room. Uh, where am I? My clothes, uh, they're all over the floor. Am I? I'm completely naked. All right, let's see. Now, should we be nice? And remember where she asked us for coffee? She's like, you want coffee or painkillers or anything? And we said coffee and we chose fancy. Should we choose painkillers or should we uh, maybe go a different route? There she is. You see a little small in her back right there. Yeah, we hit that last night. Who is she? Why am I in her bed? You know, we haven't gotten her name yet. That's a little crazy. All right, this must be her room. I hope this is her room. But who is she? Dude, you bailed on me. I gave uh, gave up a date to go drinking with you, and you wandered off after one round. What the hell? Now, remember last time, you know, he said this, and then we told her that our friend's name was Gary, and she said, Gary, huh? After they were talking about a dating app, I think Gary is the one that bailed on her, and then we committed the robbery and took her from Gary. Maybe we'll get a little further this time. Gary ditches. They, of course he did, because we slept with her, I think. Did I really leave after one round of drinks? Hell no, you didn't, bro. You got muffed up. All right, Gary knew about the situation I was in. He might be able to laugh it off or give me some information at least. Should I tell Gary about the girl? Hell yeah, you tell Gary about the girl. We woke up in some girl's bed. Hopefully Gary can shed some light in the situation. He says bullshit. Gary doesn't have any confidence. There she is. I can't remember anything about last night. It's all such a blur. Even Gary seems to ring a bell, but I don't even know who this girl lying in the bed is. She's about to wake up though and throw them covers on her face. It'll be awkward when she wakes up. Oh, this hungover's not helping. All right. Gary's not going to take my word for it. I could take a sneaky picture. And that would definitely shut him up. What should I do? Last time we didn't take the picture. We're taking that picture, bro. We're getting that booty. Crap at pulling, hey, Gary? <laughs> Boom. Click. There it is. <laughs> now, if she kicks us out, we got that booty picture for life. Me one, Gary zip. 
Ah, shit. All right, so taking that picture killed our phone. We can't call an Uber again, so we can't get kicked out. I am paying for bus fare again. I still no closer to finding out what happened. What should I do now? All right, should we get out of there, wake her up, or go back to sleep? Well, we know that waking her up... Uh... It doesn't work. She just throws the covers on us. If we go back to sleep, I don't know. Or we'll get the hell out of there. We're naked. Remember that. So I'm curious as to what get out of here is. I need to get the hell out of here before she wakes up. I better get dressed. Shit. All right. Well, she threw the covers on us anyways. There she is running. She's gone. Duh. This is like the same cut scene that happened last time. But remember, we took the booty picture this time. And we tried to leave. Maybe she's a little freaked out. I know I am. I wonder if she wants me to leave. All right, let's find our clothes. We got... Remember, that's the paradox thing. That's the condom. And we were smart about it again. We got the terrible punt. Okay, those are our clothes. I found my jeans. They look a bit dirty, though. Yeah, probably still good for another day or two. I know I do that sometimes. All right, we got to find our boxers. Hang on, there's something in the pocket. Do we, do we, oh, that's right, the sandbar card. Yep, the sandbar got good cocktails. We drank a shit ton last night. Wow, I drank five cocktails. All right, are these, whose clothes are those? Okay, those are her clothes. Even if I wanted to wear them, shit, she got out of the bathroom. We didn't have enough time to sneak away. Uh, what do I say? Uh, pff, last time I think we said hey. So we're going to be a little standoffish this time. Uh, sorry for dashing out of the room like that. I hope I didn't freak you out or anything. It's okay. I was just a little shocked when, all of a sudden, when I was suddenly smothered by the bed covers. Sorry, I woke up feeling pretty dodgy and had to run to the bathroom because she was taking a poop. We figured that out last video. All right, I see. Is everything okay? Here it is. She don't want to talk about it. Because she pooped. Boys, if your lady... You know, this is for the kids. Men, you already know, man. But for the little ones... Yo, when you grow up, if your girl says girls don't poop... Yo, girls poop. And their shits probably smell worse than a guy's. It's terrible. I see you got your jeans there. Yeah, we're trying to dash out of here. I see. Have you been awake long? Not really. I woke up with my phone buzzing. That's when she wakes up because of the phone buzzing. Sorry about that. Don't worry about it. All right. This is awkward. Yeah, we're trying to get the hell out of here. How about... Uh, all right. What should we ask her? So... Uh, yesterday, I think we asked her about her. So... Yo, we're going to ask what time it is. <laughs> we got shit to do today. What time is it? Uh, it's just coming up on 10 a.m. You uh, you don't look so good. I don't feel so good. Are you feeling okay? It's just a hangover. Don't worry about it. I'm not surprised you already had quite a few drinks before I met you last night. Quite a few drinks. There was a lot stamped off of that card. But Gary said I only had one round. All right, I'm going to go get myself a coffee. Do you want anything? All right, we said coffee last time. We're going for painkillers this time. Sure, we should have some lying around in the bathroom cabinet. Is that okay? Yeah. We? There she goes. She's leaving. All right. She said we should have some in the bathroom closet. Now, I know we saw the picture of the dude last time. She said it was her brother. But now she's saying we should have some painkillers. Okay, she's gone. I got to try and keep it cool. I don't want her to find out that I can't remember her. Oh, I hope I haven't weirded her out already. She seems, uh... Yeah, she seems nice. she go to get a painkillers. Still, I don't know how much about what happened last night. All right, where's these painkillers at? Uh, that's the paradox. Those are some magazines. What's on this mirror? How do I look? Bro, we look like trash. Hungover, we're holding ourselves up on the mirror. She certainly has a lot of stuff stuck to this. If I loved you less, I might be able to talk about it more. What? Hmm. There's loads of gig tickets, too. One of these hasn't been used yet. I wonder who she's planning on taking with her. 
there's the pitcher. Oh, what is that? There's a laptop here. Maybe I could use it to find out more about who she is. Snooping around. Shall I look at the laptop? Yeah, we looking at that laptop. Hopefully she don't look in the room. Oh. All right, so we got her name. Her name is Robin Smith. It's open to her profile page. That's convenient. I wish we could type something as her status, bro. <laughs> her name is Robin. She has 67 friends. That doesn't seem like many compared to the usual anyway. Bro, low-key, I got a little bit of friends on my Facebook because I don't want that shit blowing up and everybody being able to see. I get probably, I don't know, it's not a lot, man. You guys probably get a shit ton of friend requests a day. I get probably, you know, three friend requests every single day. And rarely do I accept them because I don't want people knowing what my business is. Otherwise, I'd have like a thousand by now. She has 67 friends that doesn't seem like many compared to the usual anyway. Her latest status says... <gasps> Someone is messaging her. Oh! Are you there? It says you're online. I better close this. I don't want to get caught. Oh, close that laptop. Close it, close it, close it. Shit, did she catch us? Oh, okay, she got us some painkillers. I hope they help. They're pretty strong, so they should knock this hangover on its ass. Hell yeah. Yo, she's cheesing again. You holding up okay? Holding up? I got no idea. Uh, yeah. Okay, thanks. Good. This is a bit awkward again. I should really cut to the chase and ask her about last night. She must know something. So, that was quite a night, huh? Yeah, it was alright. You know... I owe you my thanks. That's right. She owes us her thanks because somebody dissed her last night. How quick can we get through that? A dating app, that's how we met? No, we didn't meet on a dating app because Gary met her on the dating app and Gary ditched her to be with us. And then we ditched Gary to be with this girl. <laughs> All right, yeah, blah, blah. What an asshole. Yeah, Gary's an asshole. She doesn't know that I... Or, I'm not supposed to know that it's Gary yet. We just determined that from the last game. After that, she wanted to jump in a taxi, but then I showed up. And she's glad that I did, because she saw I was down, and I bought her a drink, and I cheered her up. Yeah, you were sympathizing with me a lot. You listen to me and go on and on and on and on about Tinder, because we were swiping. So she got stood up last night. We must have met after that. I was a shoulder for her to cry on, although we did end up here because she was sad. We committed the robbery, took a play out of Barney Stinson's handbook, consulted her when she was down, banged her. I had a one-night stand. All right, don't worry about it. I'm glad you had the night, uh, although I think my mate's a bit pissed for me ditching him. This is where she we, we said Gary. It's fine. We were just in the middle of a bar crawl. I'm sure he'll get over it. I didn't realize you were out with anyone. Yeah, I was out with Gary. We started at this bar his bro recommended. I think. Huh? Um, it's nothing. All right, so she says Gary, and then she's like, uh, it's nothing. Gary is the dude. We committed the robbery. Hold on, which bar? Uh-oh, she's on to me. I can't remember anything. I have no idea which bar. Sure, I found a sandbar car, but was that it? Which bar did you go with your friends with? Sandbar, the stray sheep, or heartbeats bar. That's different. Last time it had Paradox in there, and Paradox was the place that we met at. So I should, could say Sandbar, or I could say I don't remember. I'm going to go... I'm going to go with I don't remember, because Paradox isn't in there. Yo, this is tripping me out now. Maybe I should have clicked on that flyer, so that way Paradox was the option on there. I have no idea. Whoa, what? You don't even remember the bar that you were at with your friends? Nope. Huh, that's the first place you went. You must have remembered anything then. Well, I did remember your name, Robin Smooth. That should score me some points. <laughs> we're slick, son. I suppose. But your memory seems fuzzy about everything else. Maybe I can fill you in on what happened. Yes, please do. All right, well, 
I was waiting at the bar, Paradox Nightclub, around 10 p.m. We've been waiting there a while. Paradox, huh? That's pretty tipsy and vaguely remember you approaching me. Okay, that's when we came up. We found a secluded spot, made out a little bit. Blah, blah, blah. That's when you suggested we go elsewhere. That's when we went to Sandbar. Yep, so you remember a little. But things soon began to get fuzzy, and I don't remember much. I don't think either of us were in a good state to make decisions. Yo, we made decisions last night. Somehow we grabbed a taxi, and I guess we ended up here. Hmm. And then? <laughs> this is my favorite part. What do you think? And she's cheesing, bro. She's cheesing. Anyways, that's all I recall. As for you and your friends, I have no idea what happened. No worries. Thanks for filling in the blanks. It helped a little, but, uh, embarrassing. Oh, someone's at the door. One minute, she walks out in her underwear. There's so many things I don't remember about last night. Maybe I can find some more clues around here. All right, yo. Let's get that shirt on. Yeah, how did my shirt? It smells of smoke, sweat, and you know what? I don't want to know. Anyway, that's all I got, so I've got no choice but to put it on. All right, so we got that on. That's her undie drawer. Uh, we didn't click the guitar yet. That's a nice guitar. I think I still remember how to play a few chords. Should I play her guitar? Hell yeah, bro. I ain't that good. <laughs> it's going not good at all. That's better? No, bro. No. Okay, here she is. Are you playing my guitar just now? Uh, yeah. I want to see if I can remember some chords. Well, could you not? That's my guitar. Damn, bitch. You let me get up in your goodies, and now you want to tell me not to play with your guitar? Whatever. I still got your booty picture. No, I'm sorry. It's just that that guitar means a lot to me. Uh, maybe we should be a little more sensitive. Who was at the door? Just a mailman. Order some books online. Uh, I wonder if she answered the door dressed like that. Uh, yeah, obviously. She a thought. Maybe I should try and get to know her a little more. Guitar. Let's find out about that guitar. Don't worry about it. It's a recent birthday present from my bro a few months back. She got a bro? What? Uh, is it bro like I call you guys bro? Or is it bro like brother? Like, like you know, blood brother. I'm teaching myself, so I only know how to play a few chords at the moment. Hmm, what should I ask about? Let's request the song. Let's be a little slick right there. Um, sorry. I don't think that is now is the time. Okay. Damn. Listen. About last night. Uh-oh. All right, we're going to play this different. I know there's two different questions you can ask. We can just remain friends, but we can also just pick up and leave. Maybe we'll get our digits in this number. And bring them here, home. So this is her home. That's a relief. This isn't something I normally do. In fact, I've never done this before. Robin's never had a one-night stand before. I don't believe it. Is this something you've done before? Yup. No, this isn't my first time. Oh, that's kind of worrying. Sorry, your business is your business. We took precautions anyway, so we're probably fine. I thought as much. Pfft. Don't be a fool. Wrap your tool. I guess what I'm trying to say is, I don't want this to be typical. Oh, girl, you don't want to invite me over? Anyways, you're still here. You didn't sneak out before I woke up or whilst I was out of the room. I don't know. You were nice to me last night. But I did expect you to leave. I don't mean you still being here is a bad thing. She's happy I'm still here. I must have managed to make a good impression. Alright, this is tricky now. It's either going to be we get kicked out of the house and she doesn't want to be anything more than friends. Or try to scoop them digits. I don't know if you can scoop digits in the game. Or if we did, we barely remember it. I ranted enough about my date and my troubles. Uh, I've talked enough about me. Tell me about you. Tell me something about you. Uh, like what? Anything. Maybe we'll get to know each other a little better. This can be different. Different? Like, I don't know. Not as weird. Yeah, I guess. What should I tell her about myself? All right, last game we told her about hobbies. Let's see if we can dig into this Gary situation and talk about my friends. What? What? Where's she going now? She's gone again. That was strange. She seems okay until I open my mouth. What should I do? Wait. 
I should wait for her to come back. Maybe I can look around some more. All right. Um, we already noticed a nightstand. What's this? This must be her wallet. Take her credit cards. I really shouldn't look through it, though. Then again, it might have gotten some more information about her. Should I look in her wallet? Invest in my gate. Here goes nothing. All right, we got... There's a receipt in here. Tom's taxis. It's dated from today. I must have arrived early in the morning. She, I really can't remember any of that. I wonder who paid. Whoa, nearly 30 quid. I guess that's 30 bucks. So I guess we're in Britain. That's a pricey fare. I hope not in the middle of nowhere. Um, what's this? Looks like a bunch of old bus tickets. Is a membership card. Hang on, there's something else here. Oh, it says her name is Luis. Bruh. That can't be right. She would have corrected me otherwise. Oh shit. This doesn't even look like her, it's super old. This card must be fake. All right, yo, let's stop searching. Yo, shit's getting weird. Shit's getting weird. Uh, so that, what are these? It's a load of makeup, and there's a lot of black here. Yo, is she satanic or something? I guess Robin's a bit of a rocker or a goth, and it matches her guitar. Here she comes. Hey there, are you okay? Hell no. We found out, so first of all, you go by Robin, but now you're Luis? Yo, I'm confused as shit. No, not really. I just feel sick all of a sudden. Maybe it was something I ate last night. I drank too much. Oh, wait, my phone is still dead. Wait, what the hell is this? Huh? My friend just sent me a naked photo of me. Oh! Oh! Gary, you dick! Did you take a picture of me while I was sleeping? Shit. That picture I took to Gary somehow. Uh, oh my god. You did something like that? Uh, this is all over my news feed. Duh, bro, we messed it up. Everyone's sharing this picture of me. Shit. All my friends can see this. And my family. My brother is on here. What's wrong with you? Why did you do this? Uh, <laughs> yo, <laughs> yeah, there ain't no turning back now, bro. We need a memento. I wanted a memento. A memento. Was the memory of last night not enough? Of course it wasn't. You're too hungover to remember anything. Nice going. What else have you got in your phone? More, more pictures? Videos? Delete them right now. Uh, my phone is dead, thought. I swear I don't have anything else on my phone. My battery is dead. Please, just get out of here. No! Bruh! Oh, you barely remember last night. Now I wish I couldn't either. Grab your things and just... Just get out of here. Damn, I feel bad now, bro. Look at her sulking in the corner like that. Shit. You quickly gather your belongings and leave. Robin doesn't even say goodbye. It, she stays in her room while you fumble with the front lock on the door. Eventually it opens and you leave the house. You didn't expect her to get so upset. You can ask you why she doesn't have many friends. You walk hesitantly down the street, wondering how you're going to get home. Damn, we can't call Uber. Yo, I feel bad about this now. Like, oh, I don't know what to do. Hey, but we got an achievement. We unlocked going viral. Okay, so it looks like there's a ton of different achievements you can get. So it looks like we got a bunch of different ways where we can play this game out. There's got to be... I gotta do some research, man. There's gotta be a way. No, you know what? I'm not gonna do research because I don't wanna cheat through the game. We need to find out how we can get her number or be in a relationship. I think that's the point of the game. I haven't quite figured out what the whole point of the game is. Hey, but we found out her name was Robin Smith. Or was it? Because she had that ID that said Luis. Bro, what if she's underage? Yo, because she had the fake ID. Uh oh.
You should always be careful when posting photographs online. Going viral is in everything. That's it. All right, well, we'll wait again for another day to play another episode of One Night Stand. If you like the video and you want to see more in this series, smash that thumbs up button. And, you know, I'd appreciate it if you guys subscribe. It helps me out. You guys get to keep watching this. And I know I'm still new here, but let's see where we can take things. All right, guys, I'm out. Peace.